Hey there YouTube, Whiskey Cactus here welcoming you back to our Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask Let's Play. This is episode number four, and last time we did quite a bit of legwork in the southern swamp to get ready for the very first dungeon. So now, I would like to heal some of my magic. That would be ideal. Oh, I can capture this fairy. Actually, you know what? I don't want to capture the fairy. Don't want to capture the fairy. We don't need the fairy. Um, we're gonna need that bottle for something else a little bit later, and I don't want to waste it. Um, let's- I, I would like to get some magic. Some magic would be ideal. Can I have some magic, please? Some magic, please? I guess not. Okay. I also need to shoot down Tingle and get the Southern Swamp map, because it is not 100% run, unless we get all the maps. Need to do that. There we go, that was a little generous <laughs> with the hitbox. But that's fine, I'm not gonna complain. Hello there, Mr. Tingle. Yes, 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 yes. I would like to purchase a map of the Southern Swamp. Please, thank you. Yes, please. Woodfall. Thank you. Okay. We have a map of Woodfall. Okay. Fantastic. Let's take a look at what our map looks like now. Our map is actually doing pretty well, considering. All things considered. We have Clock Town, we have Milk Road, and we have the Southern Swamp and Woodfall. That is quite, quite a horde. Let me go ahead and see if I can conjure up some goddamn magic. If not, then we'll just have to head in to the dungeon with our- there we go, perfect, okay. Let us go ahead now and soar over to Woodfall and we will not waste any more time getting this dungeon underway. I don't know about you, but I am ready to kick some dungeon ass today. We are going to be doing that. Let us become a scrub and call forth the temple with our Sonata of Awakening. What a beautiful song. What a beautiful song. And here it comes. Now, I could start time over, but I am no scrub, despite the fact that I'm a scrub. I am no actual scrub when it comes to this game. I do not need any more time. It is one in the afternoon. We will have this game... This game? Ah, no. <laughs> this dungeon done before the dawn of the second day. That I can guarantee. So let us head on into the Woodfall Temple where our first real challenge awaits. And as I said, this is a 100% run. We are going to be getting all of the fairies. Hello there. One down, 14 to go. All right. We're gonna need the scrub mask. What's over here, anything? Oh, a fairy? All right, well, not gonna worry too much about that. Let's go ahead and dive into this flower. Fly on over here and make our way downtown. Make our way downtown. Look at this beautiful treasure chest. What could be inside? Fairy number two. All right. This little intro room, nice and creepy. The dark lighting in this dungeon, coupled with that kind of. Real creepy music. Perfect for like a swamp kind of temple. Alright, let's head on in. Hello there, Tattle. Ah! That stench! This place stinks just like that poison swamp. Well, nobody asked your opinion. I'm sorry, Tattle, I love you. <laughs> Don't be mad at me. Alright, let's kill you. And free that fairy. We do not have a key. We need a key to get in there. We do not have one. So let's go ahead and hop across this friggin' gross, disgusting water. This Delaware River water. Alright. Yeah, 
And we got a fairy over here. There we go. Perfect. I don't need to waste. No, oh, I think there, there might be bombs in here, right? These will have some bombs. There we go. Actually, I don't even think you need bombs in this dungeon. Pretty sure you don't need bombs in this dungeon. Alright. Let's grab this treasure chest. Now, I could gra grab that stray fairy out of that beehive now with my Deku bubble, or I could wait till I get the bow. I think I'm... I don't want to mess around with my magic power trying to hit this thing. Let's, let's see if we can. There we go. Alright, that's fine. Give me my great fairy mask. Come on over here. Fairy number five. Oops. And we shall fly on over here and grab ourselves a nice little treasure chest. What do we got? We gotta fight these turtles? Alright. I got you, turtles. Hello there. Come fight me. Wait till I get in the flower, then come fight me. There we go. I kinda feel bad killing these turtles. They are trying to kill me, so I guess that... That makes it okay, right? Gas treasure chest. What could be in it? Oopsie. Oopsie. What could be in the treasure chest? Is it the dungeon item? No friggin' way. It's a map. Alright, well that's fine. We are done here. We have no way of hitting that eye switch at the moment. We will need some very special, very special item for that, which we currently do not have in our possession, but we do have a key and we know where there's a locked door, so I think it's safe to say what our next destination is. Oh, you die. You die. Die, please. Thank you. What you got for me, Tattle? This looks pretty white. Well, don't just stand there. Press A to grab it and stick to move it. Can I, I cannot do it as a scrub, though. Oh, I can! Wow, I can. Okay, cool. Alright. Which one is it? I think it's the far one. I'm pretty sure it's the far one. I'm gonna be wrong, and a bee's gonna come kill me. Haha, <laughs> look at that. I was wrong, and a bee was gonna come kill me. Guys, it's the near one. It is not the far one. Hello. Alright, number six. Still have to use my Deku bubble to kill the, uh, Skulltulas. Because we don't have any other ranged weapons at the moment. Now you know why I wanted magic. Now it all makes sense. I don't want to get that fairy yet. I think I could, if I wanted to take a lot of unnecessary damage. Do I have a Deku stick? I should. Yeah, I have four of them. Okay, we're good. And we'll take the bunny hood here. Because we have it, we did all the work to get it, so we might as well take advantage of it. We'll go ahead and carry this flame like it's the Olympic torch. Oh dear. Oh dear. There it is. How wonderful. Pretty sure I'm going to want to be a scrub for this. Hello there. Ow! 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 That was so mean. That was so mean. You have to die now. And all of your brethren. We good? We good. Yeah, so as far as Majora's Mask dungeons go, 
This one is uh, pretty cheese. It is pretty cheese. But it's really meant to be an intro to the game kind of dungeon. First dungeon's never that hard. So, rest assured. Rest assured that no other dungeon in this game will be anywhere close to this easy. That I can absolutely promise you. Now we need to carry the flame a little bit further. Farther. Farther is the correct one. Shit. Oh, I almost I almost made a boo-boo there. Alright. Uh-huh. Don't care about those. We just need to take this and pay attention to what we're doing and not get killed by these moths, and we are good. Fantastico. I'm not worried about you guys. We shall now head up here. We are on the top floor. Be careful, I sense a lot of evil here. Oh no. Oh no, this is a very dark room and very scary. And there's eyes in the darkness, oh no, what shall I do? I shall fight the eyes in the darkness. Oh, they keep coming. They're like the years in a Smash Mouth song. They start coming, and they don't stop coming. Oh, hello! It is so dark. I cannot see shit. How many more are there? There's so many. There's so many, they're just looking at me. Looking at me and waiting, waiting for me to make a move. Daring me. With their glowy evil eyes. Alright, there's some in here, I know that. Oh, hello. There, I know you're in here. Is that all of them? That is all of them. Fantastic! That should give me Stray Fairy number, what, like eight or something? It's a bunch of them at this point. Where's the treasure chest? I cannot see in all of this darkness. There it is. Alright. That is number eight. Fantastic. Alright, well we have a flame here. And we just have the torches to light, which we can do just by circling the perimeter. And we can get all of them. And that is great. I think there are three torches. Is that all of them? Yes. How wonderful. This room is lovely. This room is just lovely. It's my favorite room. <laughs> can you get over here so I can kill you? That would be wonderful. I think I want to come down. I gotta be real careful not to fall in these holes, because then I have to make my way back up, and nobody wants to do that. Nobody has time for that nonsense. But I would like to kill you, please. I would like to kill you, please because you will get in my way, guaranteed. It is a guarantee that you will get in my way. Where are you at? Hello, can you come down and fight me like a fucking man? There we go. I kill you and your whole family. You just want to get me over a hole so you can hit me and knock me into a hole. I will not fall for it unless I fall for it. In which case, fair play to you, Mr. Dragonfly. Okay, we are good. All threats of getting hit by dragonflies have now subsided, and we just have to make sure we don't suck at flying. And if the Deku Nut Playground has taught me anything, it is that I suck at flying. Alright. I would like to land on this lovely little platform. Yes, please, thank you, please. Woohoo, all right. What the fuck am I talking about? All right. No, it is not nighttime yet. All right, you go... Yeah, you go that way, okay. So this will line up perfectly when I get just around here. I can launch. And we should be in perfect position to land on- Oh god! Ho 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 I almost Deku Nut Playground, that one. 
I would have landed in that hole, I'd have fallen all the way back down to the wooden flower room, and I would have been so pissed. Alright, we're good now. We are good now. And all I have to do is step on this switch, and we will never have to go back upstairs ever again. Wonderful. Wonderful. You were close. Alright, we now have ladders. We can grab ourselves. Can I get some magic? That would be idea perfect. It's like I'm a mind reader. It's like I'm a mind reader. Alright. Let's grab this one. And we will save everything else until we have our very favorite item in the game. And we will head in here. So let us go on this way and fight ourselves a really easy mini boss, shall we? Hello! Oh! You are the Lizzlefos from uh, Dodongo Cavern's scary big brother. Oh, you and you jump. You jump and have swords and shit. Oh, you are scary. Alright, let's let's not do jump attacks then. Oh, okay. Okay, you're just gonna use fire without being provoked. Okay, that's fine. That's not how I remember you fighting, but you're fighting dirty now. That's that's totally fine. That's totally fine. I know you spit fire when I hit you. I didn't know you just spit fire just in general. When's your album drop, dude? You're gonna keep spitting that fire. Alright. Well, you're dead now. I don't know how I can keep up this amount of trash talk. <laughs> Guys, we have the hero's bow. One of my favorite items. We don't need that ocarina. Actually, let me put the bow over here. So that's just a more comfortable button. It's the button I always used when I was a kid uh, in a, with ocarina time with the bow and the slingshot. And it's just, it's to me, it's like a natural reaction. I just go there automatically. So let's go ahead and shoot this eye switch. And just in case... Oh, come on, I am so much better than that. <laughs> Just in case we didn't have enough fun with that mini-boss, we have another mini-boss to fight. Because what dungeon would be complete without two mini-bosses? <laughs> okay. Oh, well, it's coming up, we have to wait. We just have to wait. Okay, now we can make our way over here. It goes down. We wait for it to land at the bottom, and we can land on it, and then we wait for it to come up to the top. And then we can make our way over to the door. It's so mechanical. It's almost like once you have it memorized, you never need to remember anything ever again. Alright, let's go in here and fight ourselves a giant scary frog. Hello there, Mr. Frog. You are- oh, right, I have to hit you with my sword, that's right. You are not that scary. Oh, you might be a little scary now. Call him for backup. Frog and a turtle. Oh dear. Hide in a Deku flower. Hide in a Deku flower. Come at me, bro. I got you. I got you. Come at me. Hey! Alright. Let's just jump right back in this flower. Oh, 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 I see. I see. I see. That's cool. Alright. Oh, shit. Shit, where you go? Where'd where you go? Oh, damn. Where is he? I lost him. Alright, I got him again. Ah, there we go. There we go. We're all good. It's all good, guys. We got this. Is this for the kill? This might be for the kill. I can't remember if it's three or four. Yeah, that's for the kill. Oh, hello, Mr. Frog. I can't do anything about you yet. Which means, of course, we will have to come back here some other time in the future. Which is totally not annoying at all. But it's fine. It's fine, guys. I love this game, I don't mind. Look at all this money! This dungeon is so goddamn generous. 
We already have the boss key. We are 20 minutes into this episode and we already have the boss key. Like I said, to be fair, the Woodfall Temple is not a difficult dungeon. We are not going to be making this kind of speedrun through any other dungeon in this game. Granted, it's not that the dungeons are necessarily difficult. They're just long. Especially if you go for the Stray Fairies, and we're going for 100%, so you're damn right we're going for the Stray Fairies. But keep in mind that they just, there's just a lot of content. Come on. Really? What? This is bullshit. There we go. I don't know how that was any different than what I was doing before. It's fine. It's totally fine. Totally fine. Alright. So let's do a thing. Do we have a Deku flower here? We do. Uh, let's do a thing. Where we fly over here. And land on this switch. And make a treasure chest appear. All the way over there. Look at that. Look at that beautiful jump. The bunny hood. You cannot convince me that the bunny hood is not the best mask in this goddamn game. What's Fierce Deity? What is Fierce Deity? It's got nothing on the friggin' bunny warrior. Alright, let's head back in here. Now that the water is no longer horrible and poisonous and everything, we can just kind of sneak in here and grab this stray fairy that we were unable to get in the first pass through this room. We now have 11 stray fairies and one room left, and all four of those stray fairies are in it. So we are fantastically good to go. We can just head on over back to this room, back to this side, climb up these ladders, and do the last, one of the last things we need to do with this dungeon. Told you we'd be done before dawn of the second day. Shit, we'll be done before midnight. Alright, I'll have to figure out how we're going to fill up the rest of this episode. I wasn't planning on it going this quickly. Alright, what do we got to do? Oh, that's what we got to do. <clears throat> Let us uh, be in a little bit better position to do it. Where is my flame? There we go. Look at that. Alright. Fantastic. Okay, let me free you, little adorable little stray fairy. Come on over. Come on over. It's a fun party over here. Got 11 of your friends. Alright. Let's hop on down here. Now we need to grab the rest of these stray fairies. There's one over this way and two over on the other side. There we go. Number 13, we got... Oh, I don't care about you. You're not going to get in my way. You're not getting in my way. cool thing about the Deku Scrub is he can't take damage from falling really high. At least, I don't think you can. You might be able to, but I... Like, you, when you're falling from your pedals, you, just, you never take damage. Which is really convenient. Alright, so let's head on. We want to be here, but we have to go over here to grab our last fairy. There we go! We've got all of the straight fairies. We've got all of our magic meter filled up. We're almost full up on arrows. Arrows are not really my big concern, because arrows are only kind of useful against the boss. They are not required. They do make it a little bit easier sometimes. Though I find, realistically, the bosses in this, du in this game function very differently from normal Zelda bosses. In that they do not, none of them, literally none of them, require the dungeon item. 
Except, I mean, you could you can make the case for Got in order to actually start the battle. You need the fire arrows, but you don't actually need the fire arrows to fight him. So it's very interesting. Let's see how quickly or how long this will take. Because it, it could be either. This could be a very, very, very quick fight, or it could take forever. And I've had both experiences. So let's see. Let's see what we got. We have Ottawa. Awesome, awesome boss enemy. So cool. Pain in the ass to fight. That is super cool. Oh, that fucking sword. Yeah. Come on. There we go. There we go. You gotta get him at, right after he's done attacking. What you got, bro? What you got? What you got? You got nothing. You got nothing. You're gonna call shit. You're gonna start calling shit, aren't you? You are gonna start calling shit. Oh yeah, here we go. Now the fun starts. What are you, what are you hitting me with? Oh, these things? Pfft, they drop hearts. I got no problem with them. Where'd you go? How'd you get over there? Alright, we just gotta kill you. No, you shut up. You don't call more shit. You don't call more shit. That's not how this is gonna work. That's not how this is gonna work. I guess maybe that is how this is gonna work. Oh man, the hearts all went away. That's not good. Oh, oh, now we got the boulders. See? See? This could be super easy, or it could take forever. And look what dumbass didn't get a fairy. <laughs> Remember that time? Remember that time I could have had a fairy? Remember the time I could have had a fairy, guys. But we're done. It's fine. That boss fight took longer than the entire dungeon. <laughs> but that's how it goes with Ottawa. You never know. You just never know. We have got ourselves a heart container, and we have got ourselves our first remains mask. You've seized Ottawa's remains. You have just freed the innocent spirit that this dark mask had kept imprisoned within the bottle of e bot the bottle, the body of evil Ottawa. Well, okay. What is this now? I got dumbass bunny ears. I'm gonna have these dumbass bunny ears on all the important cutscenes in this entire game. What's that? Is it? Oh dear. What on earth are you? That sounds very ominous. Wait, listen. Don't you tell me to listen. It seems to be saying something. Could that crying be its way of teaching us some sort of melody? Just stand there, get your instrument. Could this be the song? Look at Tattle teaching me music. I wish this song had more utility than what it's for. I guess most of these kind of songs are really just one use anyway. It's very solemn. I've learned the oath to order.
I don't understand you. Tattle does, though. Call us. That's what it's saying. Alright, well, give me them digits. Alright guys, well we have broken the curse of the poison swamp. We have broken the curse of the poison swamp, and Woodfall is now back to the way it was before the Skull Kid came and fucked it all up. But we are not done with our mission because we still have not found the Deku Princess. That's the whole reason we came here. To find the Deku pr Princess to um, exonerate the monkey. The four people Tail talked about. Do you think he was talking about the spirit that was sealed inside that mask? I think you might be onto something. Oh, hey, it, it, you were pretty good out there. Have you done this before or what? Uh, yeah, kinda. Uh, now, just keep up the pace and save the other three. Hey. Um. Um. All that stuff I did to you, your horse, I... I apologize. Sorry. There, I apologize, so don't hold it against me, got it? Baka. Now then, we've helped the princess just like the monkey asked. So now our next stop is the mountains. Let's hurry and do something about that skull kid. I mean, we helped the princess, I guess, but we don't know who she is. Oh... Oh... Hello there, you must be that Deku princess I've heard so much about. What? Who are you? Whiskey, pleased to meet you. I am the Deku princess. Were you by chance asked by that monkey to come save me? Aha, just as I suspected. You see, your body smells a little bit like monkey. So the monkey made it back fine after all. That's good. Well, about that. <laughs> I was worried that when I didn't come home, my father would think that monkey had kidnapped me. <laughs> I was worried that my father would even go so far as to punish the poor monkey. <laughs> oh, oh, that's so silly. How silly of me. Isn't that silly? Wait a minute. <laughs> Don't tell me. Are you serious? Fucking goddammit. Is father actually doing that? Yet another hasty decision, father. Oh, she's pissed. Well, we haven't any time to lose. Quickly, Mr. Whiskey, could you please find something to carry me in so we could take me to the Deku Palace? I do have something I could carry you in. I do. Here we go. Let me catch you in a friggin' bottle because that makes sense. That makes so much sense. It's a tight fit, but she says she'll be fine if you hurry. I should go sell her to the curiosity shop. <laughs> I wonder if- I'm sure somebody's tried to do that at some point. Ah, Mr. Whiskey, there's no- no time to lose. Hurry, take me to the palace. Alright, well, we will do that. Let's go ahead and do that. We do not want you to be stuffed in that bottle for too long. Oh, shit. I did not want to go into the water. That was not what my plan was today. Beautiful summer night out, but, uh, really not up for a swim at the moment get this money. Alright. We shall head on out. This water is total. Oh, get out of here. I am not. I guess, well, I guess that's what I'm doing. I wanted a nice good jump. But we can swim in this water now. So let's go ahead and swim. Head on over here. Still have to be a scrub, though. Hey guys, what up? Told you not to enter any areas other than the Royal Chamber. It's a very rare occasion that you are allowed to enter, so do as I say. Follow this hall straight to the Royal Chamber. Do not enter any other areas whatsoever. All right, I'll be good this time, I promise. I promise. Oh Jesus, what are you doing to that monkey? You know, if you wait long enough, they actually lower the areas. They lower the monkey into the pot of boiling water. Jesus Christ. Okay, well, that is scary and horrifying. 
Let's let out the friggin' princess and end this horrible, horrible thing. Oh, my princess, my darling princess. You are all right? I was so worried. Oh, she's pissed. Foolish father. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. No, thank you. What are you doing? Let that monkey go this instant. <laughs> oh, good lord. We're sorry. Our bad. <laughs> oh, Mr. Monkey, I am truly sorry. Father does such rash things when he's worried about me. I understand, Princess. Forget about that. Has the temple been returned to normal? Why, yes, thanks to Mr. Whiskey here. I am truly, very, truly grateful. Really? So you're called Whiskey, are you? Thank you for keeping your promise to me. Wow. As a symbol of our gratitude, our butler has pre Oh, that's, that's the princess. As a symbol of our gratitude, our butler has prepared a little something for you. Please accept it. You'll find it in the shrine that will be to your right when you leave the palace. Very well. That sounds like something I very much want. What up, princess? Seems our butler has taken somewhat of a liking to you, Mr. Whiskey. I believe you'll find him waiting in the shrine again. Okay. She'll never forget what you have done for us. <laughs> she says she'll never forget, but when we go back in time, I bet you'll forget. Hasty decision-making is my weakness this time. More than ever, it has become clear to me. Oh, strange traveler. There's little I can do. Please rest a bit before going. And what does the monkey have to say? Oh, we were about to punish an instant monkey! Is that what they all say? Has the poison swamp been cleared up? That means we can now get to those places we couldn't get to before. Whiskey, I'm sorry for all that trouble. Now it looks like we monkeys and the Deku Scrubs can start getting along again. You know, the swamp may be back to normal, but something still gives me a bad feeling. I wonder what it could be. Maybe that gigantic, horrifying moon hanging over the world. I bet it's that. Might it be that? Oh, I'm almost out of arrows. I'm gonna need some more arrows. Alright, well, we need to go over this way. And we will do this, and then we will go ahead and end off the episode. Uh, we may want to make sure we get this done first. And here we go. Let's do the thing. Let us do the thing. Hello there, Mr. Man. That candle is very close to my face, dude. Whiskey, I am truly thankful for what you have done for the princess. As a sign of our gratitude, we Deku have prepared something that we think may assist you. I will lead you to it. Alright, well, please follow me. Let us go ahead and run real fast. Contrary to popular belief, you do not need to stay as a scrub for this. You can become Link and use the bunny hood. Totally, totally fine. Oh, geez. All right. Oh, no, 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 no. We are losing time. It doesn't really matter. Which way did you go, mister? Did you go this way? Yes, you did. Shit! Maybe the bunny hood isn't the best idea. Maybe it's too uncontrollable for these super precise... Shit! Things we have to do. Good thing this isn't like, uh, Dampe's race in the graveyard. Where you get, like, killed by re-deads and shit. Oh dear. Oh dear. Yeah, maybe the bunny hood isn't the best idea, actually. That's fine. Oh. Oh god. Alright, and here. Oh, 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 oh. That could have been really bad. Okay, here we go. Sometimes the bunny hood lets you jump a little too far. This one? Yeah. I remember some things. I remember some things. We just gotta follow you, and you will lead me not through the fire. It's 
like, why do you even have this? <laughs> like, what is this actually for? Oh god, really boulders? We need boulders? We need boulders too. Like seriously, what use do you get out of this? Okay. I don't know what you thought I asked you, Siri, but <laughs> I, I really didn't need your input. I mean, I suppose you don't need the bow for that. You can just hop over there and smack it with your sword. All right, well, we are almost out of here. We are almost out of here. Hello. I almost beat you. Almost. Well done, Whiskey. Now here's the item I promised. Please accept it. The most useless mask in... No, not the most useless mask in the game. The second most useless mask in the game. This mask heightens your sense of smell. Wear it with C to sharpen your olfactory perception. Sniff, sniff. That's the smell of power. You can sniff out mushrooms and make blue potions with them. Or you can get the Romani mask and get Chateau Romani and not have to worry about your magic ever again. Actually, when I see you, I am reminded of my son who left home long ago. Somehow I feel as if I am once again racing with my son. Well, I have some bad news for you, dude. I'm afraid I may have tried too hard to outrun you. As old as I am, I still am a, fierce, a fast competitor, just like when I raced my son. Please forgive my rudeness. Well, I believe I found your son. Outside of Termina, it's a little dead, and I believe that I become him when I put the Deku mask on. Unconfirmed theory, but kinda confirmed. It's fairly confirmed. Alright guys, well, with that, I am going to go ahead and end off the episode here. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, uh, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. How are you enjoying the series so far? Or are you a fan of Majora's Mask? Is this the first time you've ever seen Majora's Mask? Is this the 50 millionth time you've seen Majora's Mask? What do you think of my playthrough so far? All of that good stuff. Thank you. Also, make sure you're subscribed for more Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Next time, we will do some post-Woodfall Temple updates. There are plenty of things that we can do now, now that we have defeated the Woodfall Temple and made the Swamp clear again. We have the bow, we have some money, we can do the shooting galleries, we can do some fun things like that. So I hope you're excited for that. I know I am. I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.